everybody, Amy here from Knit Collage, and I'm excited, I'm thrilled to show you some of my latest finished objects, what I have been making. Um, of course, since the last video, I have had a baby, so I have a two-week-old right now, and um, definitely in the midst of all the sleeplessness and haze um still working a little bit but not a ton mostly on fall is what i'm working on right now um and yeah we'll probably hop back into more of a full-time work mode in july but it's been kind of nice to have the team take over and do a lot um i have been knitting and i'll show you what i've been knitting most of this happened pre-baby though <laughs> So why don't I start out with showing you this sweater, which I knit, which is the Florette Cardigan, and this is in our new wildflower color, Sage Green. Um, I knit the smallest size. I kind of wish I had knit a medium. I, um, I wish it were like a little bit bigger. I can close it, and I have this um, hammered shawl pin that we sell on our site that I love that I would use it to close, but it's a bit tight, so I wish I had kind of gone up a size, but that said, I adore it, and it's really all about that macrame fringe on the bottom there. I'm hoping to do a quick tutorial on how to do that fringe for the pattern um, really soon, but I love this sweater so much. It's cotton. It's a big gauge. It's really fast to knit up. Um, I think I knit it in a week. I absolutely adore this color. So I'm, I'm loving it, highly recommend. And I think we do have kits on the site if you're interested, you get the pattern for free when you order a kit. Um, okay, so the next styles I wanna show you are actually part of our spring knit along. I'm gonna show you three out of the four. The pillow, I embarrassingly have not finished yet. I still have three tassels to make, so I'll show you that one in the next one when I am completely finished. Um, but here is my love letter sweater, cardigan, and I, I do, I love it so much. I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear with it. I, I sort of see it with summer dresses is kind of what I'm envisioning. I decided to go with the new Spun Cloud olive color and I really love that color. I've been really wanting to knit with that color. So I love it. Um, it's all about that lace collar and the waist detail for me. So this, I'm excited. I'm very excited to wear. Now this is my Kaleidoscope Embroidered. So I have knit a bunch of Kaleidoscopes now. I've probably shown you a dozen of them. Maybe it's a dozen. Maybe not yet a dozen, but I love this one. I have also made this with ivory. Uh, the French vanilla color is the base. This is the Fog Heather um, with a wildflower mini skein kit in Bon Vivant. So this is that, and I'm sure I will get to wearing this very, very soon. I'm still kind of in that newborn, like you can probably tell I'm wearing my fancy sweatpants. I haven't gotten into real clothes a ton yet, but I'm planning on it at some point soon. Um, and this sweater might be my Rhinebeck sweater. I have bought my ticket for Rhinebeck. I'm so excited. I, I hope some of you will be coming and can reach out and say hi when we get there. I am so, so, so thrilled to be going to New York Sheep and Wool Festival. So this is my Harley sweater. And this is a pattern that was also part of the spring knit along. And I did the three color version. So you see the three color version here. We also had a five color version. It's entrelac. Um, I absolutely love it. I wore it pregnant and my belly stuck out a bunch. So I'm positive this is gonna fit really well come fall. Um, I just can't wait to wear this. And I still would really like to do a five color version that is on my mind. I love the one that Caddy Jacks did, um, Jackie from Caddy Jacks. So that's definitely on my mind, but um, I have so many things to knit for fall, new designs percolating that I can't quite get there yet, but it is on my mind. Um, 
Okay, so I wanted to just show you a couple new things on the Knit Collage site before I dive into the other things that I've knit recently and what I hope to knit. And this is the Maisie Daisy belt pattern um, by Anne Keith. So she is part of our Knit Collage team actually too. And this is her design. And we came up with these iridescent belt buckles based on an original she had found. This was custom made for us by Katrinkles, our favorite Providence-based company. It's that iridescent acrylic. Um, you can see it, what it looks like without the belt. It's so cool. So I really want to make like a necklace, something like that, with like the wildflower yarn coming out here. I haven't gotten there yet, but you know, the ideas are percolating. So that's that. This is a pattern on our website now. If you are interested, it's great with stash yarn. You could use a mini sampler kit. It's um really simple, easy pattern. And I wanted to show you this too. This is a new needle case in Sierra Redwood. So if you're thinking, I need a new interchangeable needle case, we've got you covered here. We have Wallflower, which is the blue one. And then this is the new color, Sierra Redwood. So two options there that just came in. And then I think I showed you guys this in the last video. This is the Wildflower Bouquet Bucket Hat by Christine Young. This is a new free pattern on the site. I tested this size, which is size one. It is so cute. I plan to wear this to the beach all the time. And I encourage you to check out Gigi's of Gigi Made It. She did one all in the new orange color. I I think it's called tart orange. Um, I can't remember totally the name of that orange off my top of my head. It might be joy bomb orange. <laughs> it has a good name. Um, but I love the way this one came out and this is size one. So with the shorter brim, there is an option for a longer brim too. And that's the original. So this is one of the new wildflower color combos. I think mellow mood. And then this one is saltwater taffy of the wildflower mini skin kit. So really cute, simple hat pattern would work well with any wildflower yarn scraps you have laying around. Um, it's just really pretty texture, really easy. I I made one in, in one night watching a movie with my family. So really, really easy. Okay, so I wanna show you what else I've been knitting. Why don't I show you the baby Larkin I knit? Um, I mentioned already that I'm obsessed with this pattern. I knit it once and then I knit it again. This is gonna be for my sister. This is the Larkin pattern by Park Williams of Park and Knit. And I really love it because it uses sock yarn or fingering weight yarn held, um, you hold four strands together. And it's great for me, I don't like knitting on small needles, but <laughs> you don't have to here and you still get to use all those pretty like Indie Dyer yarns that you wanna use and you might have single skeins of like me. So I love this one and this one has a bit of neon in it, which is really fun. So I'm gonna show you what yarns. This is the neon yellow. This is by The Wandering Flock. I got this during a Knit and Escape event. Um, it is called YOLO, what a great name, and it is their fingering weight yarn, so really pretty. And then this one I used in my other Larkin. It is from Me to Yarn, that's the name of the brand. It's color Crystal Opal in fingering weight, super wash merino, and nylon. And I really do love this. It's, it's very colorful. And I'm sad, I don't think I've got one more um, Larkin in it, <laughs> in this left, but it's so, so pretty. Um, and this was part of a box from Diane Ivy, who is Lady Dye Yarns. I did, I think I did her Winter Palooza box and this was in there. And this was also in there. And this is a Lady Dye fingering weight yarn. I don't think it had a label or I totally threw out the label by accident, but this is a Lady Dye yarn really pretty saturated blue, but like subtle variegated tones. So um, I used that in here, you can probably see that. And then the last yarn I used, I also used in my other 
Larkin, so I have very little left. And this was um, something I got at Stephen and Penelope online, and it's Fru Valborg um, Merino Swirl in color Azure. It's all about that color for me, right? So good. So I love this. I'm giving it, I had to do the video today because I'm giving this to my sister this weekend at her baby shower, and I absolutely can't wait. Um, I think I did the six month size, yeah. So that's that. I did knit one more sweater for my baby, Baby Barrett, and I will show you that now. Oh, I had one more thing to show you, and where has it gone? Oh, there it is. I knit a baby bonnet and a sweater. So I'll show you the baby bonnet first. This is the baby bonnet, so it goes like that. And this is the Beloved Bonnet Pattern by Tin Can Knits. And I use the Skein Cocaine Yarn Royal DK. Um, and it just says color special. I also use this for the boot, the Misha and Puff um, bloomer pattern. So he's gonna have a matching set. So I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> it's so, so, so cute. So, so, so cute. I love it. And it was very easy. It only took me a couple nights to make that. And then the next one I wanna show you is this sweet little pattern. This is the Sock Yarn Baby Sweater Pattern by Hannah Fedig. So that's um, what it's called on Ravelry. And I used a Hedgehog Fiber Yarn Cashmere Merino in color Firefly. And it was really all about this yarn for me. All about this yarn. So I love it. It's so cute. It was a small needle size for me. I can't even remember what it was, but I definitely went down a needle size from what the pattern asked for, like I always do. And uh, still it didn't take me that long. I think I had a Zoom event that weekend, so it went by pretty quickly. And I think it's so cute. I would absolutely knit it again. I'm a little nervous that the neck is gonna be too wide on this. It just seems really wide. I know babies have big heads, but I'm a little bit nervous about that. So. We'll see, um, but the yarn is very, very soft and it's just, it's so, so cute. So the big thing I finished in the past month or so is my half and half wrap by Pearl Soho. This is part of the Caddy Jocks year long knit along. So I'm gonna show you that. And I have pretty much been knitting this exclusively post baby. And I have figured out how to knit while I nurse. So it's been a lot of knitting on my half and half wrap shawl. It is not blocked. So I think it'll look a little more crisp and pretty once it's blocked, but here you go. There is the turquoise side. Here is the purple side. So I knit this on a size 2.7 US needle. And that is a very small needle for me. This is the biggest thing I have ever knit with a needle that size. So I'm excited about it. And this is, I think this is kind of how you wear it. Um, so you're gonna see like the pop of color, the opposite color when you wear it, which is really pretty. Um, I'm excited and they are having a meetup at New York Sheep and Wool Festival where we get to wear these. So I will be wearing it. Um, part of me wishes I had gone with a softer color to match more of my clothes, but you know, it is what it is. I don't have many blue and purple things, so I'm pretty excited about it. And this purple is so fun. Um, this is the Pearl Soho Linen Quill Yarn for anybody that is interested in that. And yes, it was a very easy knit, very simple, just tons of knitting and garter, but it did take me a very long time. I started this in the fall. I've, of course, I've knit a lot of things since then, but it has taken me a really, really long time to finish that. Um, okay, so I wanna show you what I'm working on, what I have planned for the future, because of course I've got lots of knitting plans, um, and I wanna show you that, and then we're gonna just wrap things up. So. This is the design I am working on right now. This is the back of the sweater. This is our spun cloud yarn. And I've got this fun rainbow design in mind. So this is the back, I finished the fronts and I have yet to seam it up and do the sleeves. Um, 
Sometimes I like to, when I'm designing sweaters, even if I intend to make it all knit in one piece later, I like to start off by knitting it in pieces so I can get the fit right. And then um, I may switch it to actually be knit all in one piece later, but this is it. And I'm kind of excited about this. So this is kind of like the fall muted colorway, but then I have a very bright colorway. Um, in my mind that I want to whip up to. So that's one of the things I'm working on. I actually have two or three fall designs that I'm working on. Um, also on our team, Laurel and Cheryl are working on fall designs. So we're all kind of working on stuff, um, independent of each other and checking in. And uh, I am behind, I have the most to do there. So that is really my focus right now. What the challenge is, is that when I'm nursing and just at night I'm in a haze, I need something to knit like this. And when I'm designing, it takes some brain power, right? Like you need to take your notes, you need to uh, really think about fit and construction. And so I would say that has been the tricky part for me right now is like, when do I work on the fall designs because I'm so sleepy and out of it during the day? <laughs> so that's my challenge right now. But I wanted to just touch on the other things I'm working on or I have on my mind. I'm gonna pull up my queue here of all the things. Okay, so I have a couple things. Actually, only two. And the first is the Nightingale sweater. I keep talking about this. It's an Oregon pattern. I've mentioned it a bunch if you have been watching here. I will get there probably after I finish my fall designs. It's a serious cable pattern. Um, very excited about it. Have the yarn, must knit it. <laughs> but in the meantime, I really wanna knit the Earth and Air pattern by James N. Watt. So he came on the podcast a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago, and it was fantastic. To I loved the episode and I wanna encourage you to listen to it if you, um, you, know, if you feel moved. But I love this design and I have yarn for it. So I'm contemplating, it's a simple brioche sweater. So it's almost like the half and half wrap, except it's brioche, which would be a kind of a nice challenge for me. Um, and you use mohair and a worsted weight yarn together. So I have this yarn that I just got from Gather Here in Cambridge, which is my local yarn store. And I've got two mohair options. This is a hedgehog, fiber yarn, kid silk lace in color comeback. So I like it, but do I love it? I don't know. Do I love the black in there? I, you know, I typically don't like black, <laughs> but maybe I love this because it's just so fun. So it would be these two together, or I have this beautiful wandering flock skein, which I think would look really pretty too. So what I think I'm going to do is swatch both and see which one I like because I have no idea what this will look like when it is knit up. Has anyone else knit a skein like this where it's one color on one side and one on the other? I have no idea. Um, so I'm not sure. And I feel like this might be better with a pure, a pure white, not an ivory. So I think this might be a better mix, but we'll see. I'm gonna try that. And then I have my Noragon Nightingale. And those are really the only two things I have on my queue right now. Um, I want to cast on a Friendship Train Shawl by Christy Glass. So I don't know if anybody has knit that yet. It's her own pattern. I'm hoping to knit one of those with our yarns at some point too, but that should be pretty quick. Um, the other things I have on my plate are a bunch of projects for free people. So that's fun, but it is um, a fair amount of knitting for me. <laughs> All accessories, so nothing super time consuming, but um, I need to get on it with those. So lots of things happening and I think that is it. I wanted to make sure I got this done before I gave my sweater to my sister for her baby shower. Um, if anything moves you, feel free to reach out. I will um, share pictures of the baby if anyone's interested in my Instagram story. So you can check him out there, Baby Barrett. And I think that's it for today. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Bye.